front feet on the canine fit bone. The goal of this exercise is for the dog to put both front feet on the canine fit bone, thereby shifting weight to the rear limbs and engaging the core muscles. You can indicate the canine fit bone by either pointing to it or waiting for the dog to step on it. Reward when the dog has both front feet on the bone. The dog should maintain a symmetrical stand with front feet under the shoulders and stifles under the hips. There should be an equal weight distribution from left to right both in the front limbs. The dog should have a neutral back and neutral muzzle. Back up to the canine fit bone. Before asking a dog to target any object with their hind feet, be sure to walk them over to it first so they understand it is there. You can then progress to backing up and targeting the canine fit bone with their hind feet. Deliver the reward while the dog has both of its hind feet on the bone. This exercise encourages a weight shift to the front limbs and engages the core muscles. The dog should maintain a symmetrical stand with front feet under the shoulders and stifles under the hips. There should be an equal weight distribution from left to right in both the rear limbs. The dog should have a neutral back and neutral muzzle. Sit to a kickback stand with front feet up on canine fit bone. The goal of this exercise is to keep the front feet stationary on the canine fit bone while the hind feet step back or kick back into a neutral standing position. If the dog needs additional information, it is okay to use the fit pause targets to help the dog find a balanced position. You may use a chin rest, nose touch, or food lure to obtain the desired position and movement. The end position should be a symmetrical stand with front feet under the shoulders and stifles under the hips. There should be an equal weight distribution from left to right in both rear limbs. The dog should have a neutral back and neutral muzzle. This exercise tests pelvic limb strength. Stand on two canine fit bones with weight shift. Two canine fit bones should be placed so that the dog is standing in a symmetrical stand with front feet under the shoulders and stifles under the hips. If the bones are placed too far apart, the dog will be overextended. This is not the desired position for this particular exercise. In this exercise, the dog is demonstrating an isometric contraction. The forelimb, hind limb, and core muscle must all engage in order to maintain balance and form. While maintaining a neutral standing position, the handler should walk back and forth in front of the dog, as far as they are able without the dog coming off of the equipment. The dog should have a neutral back and neutral muzzle. If the dog will not maintain a stand stay on the equipment, it is acceptable to hold a cookie on the dog's nose as a lure and turn the dog's head to the right and left. It is also acceptable to use a nose touch or a chin hold to get the dog to stand stay. This exercise is also good for teaching impulse control as the dog must stay on the equipment. A cool down is important to bring your dog's body back to its normal physiological state. A gradual reduction in heart rate, blood pressure, etc. lowers the probability of post-exercise disturbances in cardiac rhythm. Similar to the warm-up, the cool down will promote arterial circulation, which aids in the effective removal of metabolic waste and rebalancing of oxygenation within muscle cells. To cool down your dog after your workout, it is recommended to go for a 5-10 to 10 minute loose leash walk. If you would like to learn more about additional exercises or how to find a certified fitness trainer in your area, please visit our website at www.fitpaususa.com.